You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy, and I have another book review to share with you guys. Um, so if you've been watching me for the past week or so, you know that I am doing a series called Annie's People by Beverly Lewis. It is a three book series um, which follow some, a few main characters throughout three books about their adventures and their sorrows and their joys and just basically a, a sort of sneak peek into the life of the Amish and what it and with any culture, there are um, problems. Um, I'm not saying that they aren't. Um, so this book is called The Brethren by Beverly Lewis. And it is the third book in the series. And it has 39 chapters and 349 pages, you guys. Um, it's a little shorter by about three pages for the ep because it includes an epilogue so the epilogue in case you guys don't know um, it's kind of like what happens after the book ends um, it's similar to the seventh book in Harry Potter where um, Harry Potter 13 years later he gets to talk to his son about attending Hogwarts but um, it's similar in nature to what what happens next what what happens to these characters and how do they end up so to speak so this one is like I said the third book um, painful separations and tearful reunions secrets revealed and hearts forever changed when the truth arrives in paradise can their life be Life there be, remain the same. The people are all a buzz about Zeke's arrest. But I can't allow myself to stew because I need all my strength and courage to help dear Essie and her children who are floundering so. But even though Essie is holding fast to her newfound faith, she also seems to be holding her breath about Zeke. We all are, really, because what one man is guilty of the affects us all. I am holding my breath, too. Counting the days till my six month promise ends. Till my. S okay. Then I can pick up where I left with easel and paintbrush. Despite Ben's departure, I, my life has not returned to normal. Truth be known, my dreams of Ben can keep me awake long into the night. Daydreams strike me too. I manage images I will into existence by my forbidden yearnings intermixed as they are with my sadness of having sent Ben away. Still, I try to remember what the good book has said. Blessed are they that are mourned, for they shall be comforted. Alright, so this has 39 chapters and 349 pages, if I didn't say before. <laughs> um, and this is what it looks like. Um, so this book was surprising in its ending um, I thought it would turn out a bit differently than what I had imagined from the the previous two books and um, so it was surprising because two characters seem to be drifting away but then they found love and hope and all those good things and it tied everything up into a neat proverbial bow and say happily ever after. Um, I know it's a cliche, but that's how most most Disney movies um, appear to be because if you think about Sleeping Beauty, if you think about um, Aladdin, if you think about Finding Nemo, you know, your impressions are like, okay, they just lived happily ever after and their experience changed them some, but not a lot. Um, so, um, 
So, as I said before in my other videos, Beverly Lewis um, grew up plain. Um, that's what they call it. And she grew, she has Amish roots, as does her mother, who lived Amish for a while. Um, my understanding is she lives in Colorado now. Um, and so this is a great book. I want to remind you guys that this is a particularly religious book because it does um, have parts of the Bible that is quoted in here. And so it's pretty neat. Um, would the book reviewer recommend this book? Absolutely. Um, would I read it again? Maybe. Because I will know sort of what happens. I'll remember the characters and the things that they went through and things like that. So, um, this is the third book. I think the next video I'll post is the series review. Um, for those of you guys that know, um, I do a series review on any series book that I do, um, even if it's within, um, the same author or, uh, a series book, um, that's from an author that I've done before. I'll still do a series review. Um, I'll put links down below for the, uh, for a link to Amazon to where you can find this book. Um, for those that have read this book, did you like it? Did you hate it? Or did this book review make you want to read it now? Um, leave your comments down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. I think that's all I have for you today. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye!